and all of this, of course, um, is suggests, indicates, tells us. I mean, your notes have got to be very, very well kept in these cases, haven't they? You've got to make sure you've recorded everything that you've asked, done, seen, definitely, been told. Definitely. Document, document, document. Mm. Document the negative responses as well as the positive responses. Yes. You know, do you have any changes in your bladder or bowel sphincter control? Obviously, you're going to ask the appropriate questions. But you, if they say no, don't ignore that then. Record that there is no change in bladder or bowel sphincter Would you control. simply write no CES symptoms? Would that be enough if you've gone through all the questions and they're all negative? I, I tend to do B, B, S, A, S, D. And then it's either B, zero, B, zero, S, A, zero, S, D, zero. Yeah. If, okay. if, if I've asked each of those questions and there's, <clears throat> there's no symptoms within a BBSASD with a zero next to each of them is enough for me as a, as a note yeah. that I've asked the questions and the patient has said that they don't have any. Yes. I remember talking to Lawrence Butler about keeping good notes and, and he said abbreviations are fine as long as you're, are fine as long as you're consistent with them. Absolutely. Um, he also said it's useful that other people within your own practice or who might see those notes understood what those abbreviations yeah. meant. And BBSASD is well used within spinal services so yeah. that would be recognised by anybody who works in a spinal unit.